Warning, the Live Leak Show is strictly for adults only and may contain language, opinions, and media which could cause offense to those of a sensitive nature. If you do watch the show and find yourself so deeply offended you need to whine about it, we suggest you pull that big, splintery stick out of your ass, walk it off, and buy a friend because we don't want to hear about it. Now, Sit back and relax because shit is about to get real. <laughs> what the fuck? I think we've probably got audio now. I think they can probably hear us. Wow! You just remember how to turn it off for the videos. Marty, did you leave the fader down? No, what are you talking about? I think you left the fader down. Ah, we don't know what we're talking about. Fuck it, bring me back. Give me a countdown! Five, four. And turn the sound off on that. Ah, there we go. Um, a fader was left down. I had to uh, leave my station to fix it, and uh, these things do happen. At some point tonight, John will kick a uh, cable out. Jay will just sit there looking marginally shell-shocked. Um, Marty, well, he's already had his fuck up for the evening. Maybe that'll be the only one. I don't know. You're right, bro, 66, it was smooth as fuck. <laughs> smooth as silk. I don't think uh, anyone noticed. No, no one would have seen. I think, no, we, I I think we got away with that one. <sighs> I think we <clears throat> just lost 100 people, but I think we got away with it. Ah, uh, welcome to the Live League show. Um, Happy Dog says he wants a refund for the first six minutes. That'll be more than he's earned in the past fucking six months. Yeah. I'm joined, as ever, this evening on the Live League show by my erstwhile colleagues and, well, failures for the most part. Marty. Hi, guys. Jay. What's up? Wingman John. Good evening. So, the question remains. Blue Cheese is really keen for me to pay attention to him. Sorry, he keeps calling me a baldy bastard. At least you don't need glasses. I'll get round to you in a minute, Blue Cheese. Don't you worry yourself, sausage. All right? I'll deal with you in a sec. Marty, what have you been up to this week? I've been sweating my balls off. It has been very warm <laughs> in work, been hasn't it? absolutely boiling. We had a heat wave in Manchester yesterday and the most spectacular thunderstorm we've <laughs> ever seen. Only in Manchester. Yeah, the first time we've usually in Manchester a thunderstorm is three bits of lightning, a rumble of thunder, and then it fucks off. Last night, massive electrical storm. It was fantastic. Well, That's the weather. Jay, what have you been up to? No, never mind. John, what have you been up to? Celebrating my wedding anniversary. Really? How many years? 19. Well done. Well, wartime you mean, wedding, wasn't it? Did you hear that then? Who did that then? Marty? <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Cause, no, because... How do we do it? <laughs> um, Sorry. It was a wartime wedding, wasn't it? <laughs> Not quite. No. Before you shipped out. No. 1996. 1996. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Jay. Pop quiz. What's a thesaurus? No fucking idea. Yeah, I know you've got no idea because I got a call earlier saying that your brother said he helped you with your thesaurus. And you didn't know what a thesaurus was. Do you know what's doubly ironic? Your brother got the fucking word wrong as well. It should have been thesis. Oh. Jay is still fucking confused. Jay, I'm trying to throw you a lot. Oh, never mind. You didn't ask what I've done this week. Because I know what you've done this week. You've laid in bed saying, I'll be in, I'll be in the studio tomorrow, yeah? You get here, and they say, is it time for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> then you go and get lunch, and then you sit around fucking about for a bit, going, hey, Nate, look, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this. And I look, and you've made a floor, and it's fucking brilliant, Jay, well done. I'm getting you a badge next week. There you go, sausage. Um, thesaurus. Look it up. Use dictionary first. Then go to thesaurus and find another word for thesaurus. There you go. See, it's educational. Uh, on this week's show, uh, there are quite a few things I want to talk about this week. Obviously, um, what happened in Tunisia and some of the things that have gone on with that. I also want to talk about pride. What are you proud of? And I've got to be honest, what are you so proud of you think you deserve a fucking parade? 
whether it's gay pride, white pride, black pride, home pride, whatever pride you've got, I'd like to hear about it and hear why you think you've got any fucking right to it. Uh, you can get in touch, by the way, at Live League Show on Twitter, and your tweets might periodically show up. Jay's obviously bored. He's not looking at the tablet at the moment. There's no tweets. Um, pardon? There's no tweets. Okay. Just keep on it. You're doing well. You're doing good. Sat there not looking at it is the pro way. Um, no the live league show at gmail.com. Uh, if you want to email in, and John will read out your emails in his dulcet tones for our delectation. Oh, you can Skype in. Live league underscore Skype. It'd be great if more people Skyped in instead of my usual. Um, well, Sky, who usually Skypes in? They've got the soundboard guy, my racist chum. Mm -hmm. um, if he's not busy fucking his sister daddy tonight, whatever it is Happy he does. Dog. And Happy Dog. Reggie I didn't Bull. mean him. I wonder if Raging Bull's got a mic yet. Mm -hmm. There must be one shop in Yorkshire that sells them. So yes, Skype in, live leak underscore Skype. Um, there were some other things I want to talk quite a lot of things as well. Um, charity. I want to talk a little bit about charity. And people's reactions to charity and how you're supposed to be. That's just based around a Facebook. I, I trolled the Facebook a little bit earlier on today. Got it up to about 56 replies and it just started getting a bit jokey and dull. But um, there is quite an interesting... Uh, well, I think it was quite an interesting point. If you don't, go and make some sandwiches. We're also going to be talking about the various political and government shenanigans that have been going on of interest. And of course, there's a little bit about gay marriage because it'd be wrong not to at least recognise that. But I do believe we touched on that last week with the uh, Confederate flag business, didn't we? So yeah, get us an email in, show at gmail.com, at show on Twitter, and LiveLeak underscore Skype on Skype. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash show. You should probably go and click whatever the fuck it is you click on Facebook. And if you're really lucky, I'll insult you through the week. You're also free to insult me, obviously. Um, there will be a Live League show website. Been promising that for weeks. Not done a fucking tap on it this past week, though. Uh, and nor has anyone else. So we are working on that, uh, which will contain lots of really fun and cool and wonderful stuff. Uh, and by the way, thanks to Richie Allen. We did play one of his shows earlier on. Um, for you fucking dickheads in Troll Central trying to get his attention, it was pre-recorded. He's not here. It's just made here. We just show it. Um, but Richie, who does his radio show, uh, always gives us lots of plugs for the Live League show. So thank you very much, sir. And if you know, you'd like to hear some more from Richie, you can tune in every night. He's on at 8pm uh, BST uh, via various players. If you do a search for Richie, uh, the Richie Allen Show on Facebook, you'll get all the information you need on where you can listen to him every night on the internet radio. And of course, his TV show, which is out every week, which is nice. On a Friday night, that gets released, which I'm bound to plug because we make it here. Alex which is awesome. What time is BST, says Fields of Fire? Good question. British summertime. Um, I prefer GMT, but if I use that as a generic term, I get corrected by internet fucking nimrods who've got nothing better to do than go, No, nah, you've got something wrong! It enhances my feelings of superiority! I do that quite a lot as well. <laughs> um, so BST, British summertime. It's now uh, 22.43 in British summertime. Work it out from there. Or ask Google. Um, let's have a look on here uh, Troll Central, let's have a look uh, Cold Dark Cloud says Is this live? Ish Give or take, I think for about about 10 seconds behind To allow it to go from one computer to another computer To Tinternets And then I think it goes via Amsterdam And then out to the CDN From the CDN to your computer it Takes about 10 or 15 seconds I believe, in total um, So there we go um, Blue Cheese 420 says it's not live, it's dead. <laughs> that's because Blue Cheese has got fucking brain damage. I mean, God, yeah, that's why your mum gave you away. She couldn't cope. She made it till you were 14 and realised you were never going to get smarter. Uh, I said I talked to Blue Cheese, didn't I? Yeah. Um, Retard Strangler says type your Skype address, I want to speak. No, I'm not typing it. I don't have a keyboard here, dude. It's liveleak underscore. Skype. I'm sure Marty will fix one of the uh, get in touch things at some point for you. I just told him that he'd be freaking out now because last time he did that, <laughs> everything went tits. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Jay. You wanted to speak about that email you got before. Oh, yes, from Beefo. Beefo apparently left Live Leak in a, uh, a blaze of misogyny. Uh, Beefo's got a real problem with women and gay people because he really picked on Marty and Jay. 
which isn't nice. Um, just want to say, Beefo, uh, I couldn't reply because you used an anonymous email address because obviously <laughs> we'd be desperate to stay in touch. Um, I guess all I can say is um, I hope one day you're at the zoo, fall in the gorilla enclosure and get gang raped by gorillas. <laughs> Mental on the fucking ecstasy and the PCP. It's about the best I can hope for you, dude. Maybe get over your fear of women that way and just learn to embrace the cock, um, which is something you clearly want to do. Uh, so yeah, so there we go. A little bit of, uh, I guess some people, some people accuse me of homophobia. Really? For making gay jokes at people and things like that. To which I reply, suck a dick. Because <laughs> um, I worry what people think. Um, Douglas Floyd says, much rather when you hosted in your spare room and Troll Central took turns in guessing why your closet was taped shut. You can still guess, dude. Knock yourself out. Visualize the cheap IKEA wardrobe with the tape round the front. And you just keep guessing. Whatever keeps you off the streets and leaves your neighborhood animals safe is good with me. We've got any emails yet, John? You've got from Chris. He says, if you guys ever do a show uh, without a single fuck up, I swear to dog, I will never watch your show again. Hayden's face when he realized it was a classic. It's never going to happen, dude. Don't worry about it. Duke Brassy's in. Excellent. Hello, Duke, sir. I hope you're feeling well. And when you're fully recovered, I do hope you make your way over to these shores with your good lady. And visit us here at uh, Fuck Up Central and watch us fuck up in real time, live. Uh, but uh, seriously, dude, I hope you're feeling well and uh, you're on the road, or at least on the path to recovery, and you can you can see it there now, yeah? Let me know how you're doing. That'd be brilliant. Don't let me know in Chalk Central. I'll probably fucking miss it uh, on account of all the Waterheads and Nimrods currently posting. Um... Why is user Hegel still allowed to post when he's all about National Socialist propaganda? Who cares? Ignore the con. Problem solved. There we go. Uh, people do worry about things. Uh, narcissism says, Hayden, what's your opinion on legalization of gay marriage in the US? We can do gay marriage first, can't yeah. we? Not, not literally. No. Because no one will marry these two. Although, Matt, your girlfriend's moving in soon, isn't she, Marty? She's moving in tomorrow. Awesome. Your life's fucked. <laughs> you know all that freedom you've had in the flat, enjoying yourself, <laughs> relaxing, That's eating what? cheese on toast and watching <clears throat> porn and stuff? Finished. This Fuck. is the last time we'll see Marty. Marty has commented as such. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, Cold Dark Cloud is still determined to get my attention with the Australian thing. He's done it in the threads and everything else. Am I Australian? Who knows? <clears throat> is it my wild Australian accent that gives me a... By the way, someone referred to Richie as British earlier, which I thought was fantastic, because there's nothing an Irishman likes more than to be called British. Well done. Um... Let's have a look. My cat's name is Pejoria. He's wanting you to talk about Tunisia. He's got a question for you. All right, we will get around to Tunisia, but someone did ask about the gay marriage first. Yeah. And uh, I wonder who I could possibly be getting text messages from at this time. Uh, I will show my professionalism by checking them. No, it's not my wife. Would Marty and Jay sing us a song? Who's that from? <laughs> Marty, Dad, obviously. Nobody else texts me during the show. Will you? To the window. Save it. Wait till later. We'll do it at the end of the show because be, I, I'm amazed people sit through this shit, let alone you two fucking caterwauling at each other. <laughs> no, fucking budget Renee and Renata. Oh, that's back to the 80s, isn't it, John? What's that? Renee and Renata. Renata. Oh, God, yeah. Save your love. Yeah. <laughs> or as you call it, newfangled pop music. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. I'm more into bands, aren't I? Yeah, yeah big bands. <laughs> the big bands. Big fucking bands. <laughs> Glenn Miller, still more on the day. More on the day. Oh, let's see. Uh, what was it going to... Oh, gay marriage. Right, yeah. Um, Legalised uh, across the states recently. Much to the displeasure of... Well, there was one preacher that said he'd set himself on fire if it was legalised. I watched very closely. <laughs> he didn't follow through. What would Jesus say? What do I think about gay marriage? Don't bother me in the fucking slightest. Makes no difference to my life whatsoever what gay people do. What consenting adults do with one another? Why would it bother me? The sanctity of marriage! Do you know what? After it was legalised, I bet nobody woke up and went, see, my marriage, got no sanctity now. It's fucked. It's fucked. <laughs> yeah, it didn't change your life one bit, apart from make various religious people but her. Now, I do want to say at the beginning, though, I don't agree with forcing churches to marry gay people. 
Uh, as much as I do dislike religion, and I genuinely do dislike religion, I don't dislike all religious people. And if, if gay people want equality, you have to afford that equality to, to people that don't want to be involved. And if you're forcing a church to marry gay people, then you're infringing on somebody else's rights. There has to be a compromise there. And there are lots of great places to get married without going through a religious ceremony. And let's be honest, if you are a homosexual, most of these people's sky genies don't like you. Um, so why have fuck all to do with them anyway? You know, it doesn't make sense to me. See, I've got no problem with gay marriage. It doesn't, I, I don't see why anyone would have a problem. I'd love to know what your issues might be with it. And if there's a genuine reason you shouldn't have it, apart from, you know, rampant homophobia or, you know, you just don't understand. But on a related topic, I also think it's unfair that businesses are forced to do things that go against their wish as well, like the cake shop in Ireland that was forced <coughs> to do the gay wedding cake things. You know, people have got a right to go, do you know what, don't like it. Don't like it. Mm. You know, me personally, don't really fucking care. Doesn't doesn't bother me. You know, if people want to be gay, go be gay. If you want to be bi, go be bi. I'm not. I'm not really that curious about it. I've not been drunk enough. What is it like, John? What? Well, sorry. See, so you weren't paying attention, oh, were you? God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just you know about bisexuality and things. He's totally blanking me now. He don't want any part of that. Are you lot sending messages to each other? No, just doing some tacky stuff. Sorting things out. Oh, fucking hell, we are all absolutely doomed if you're doing techie stuff. Get ready, guys. This is going to be amazing. I leave in him. <laughs> uh, Blue Cheese 420 says, Hayden, I'm guessing murder doesn't really bother you. It happens every day. doesn't mean it's right. No, it doesn't. But equating murder to the actions of two consenting adults is actually really fucking stupid. But as we've already established, Blue Cheese, you were dropped on your head several times as a youngster. And the result is you. Um, have I missed it? Am I missing something over there? What's happening? I, I'm no, intrigued. No, Marty just went it's a bit of info off me, so I just passed it over. Okay. Jay, shut off. I'll make you sit over there on your own. Sorry. There you go. I love you. I, whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't love you. The option's still open on the like thing. Um, do you remember when I said if we reach 200 likes on Facebook, I'd tell them Jay's dirty secret? Yes. Did we? 201 likes. No Whoa. way. If during the show, you guys go to Facebook and click like, if we get up to 210, I mean, come on, there's 1,200 people here at the moment. If we get up to 210 on Facebook, www.facebook.com, a live league show. If we get up to 210, I'll tell you Jay's dirty secret. Do it. Screw it. Do it. Fair? Fair. Fair. And Absolutely. we're also going to put a vote because Jay's been on probation. We're going to let you vote as to whether we you keep him. You must do it this week. Yeah, but I didn't, so get over it. No. Just building up. Just shut up anyway. Um, we're going to do a poll as to whether we get to keep him or we throw him away. And we'll let you guys decide because we're democratic like that. We've got emails there, John. Uh, yes, we've got one from uh, McGrand. It says, uh, any comments on the Google picture labelling gorilla description? <laughs> no idea what that is. No, I, I don't I do. Uh, Go on, Jay. Fill us in. Let Marty explain No, that. no, you can. Google tagged people. Um... Move towards the mic because oh, you just... Google tagged uh, black people on Google as gorillas, as in as, as in they were coming when people Whoops. search. search uh, black well, they did apologise. Yeah, they did apologise. I bet they apologised. I'm terribly it. sorry. <laughs> I'm changed. It. I'm terribly. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, it's probably someone having a bit of a, a troll at Google, I expect, isn't it? What do I think about it? Whoops! <laughs> someone, someone done fucked up and let something through they shouldn't there. Um, yeah. Whoopsie daisy. Um, I guess these things do happen. Chances of gay marriage being legalised in Saudi Arabia, someone says. Well, fucking not, because they're still fucking under the oppression of some caveman fucking religion. Like, you know, we used to be under Christianity, I guess. Although some of you still fucking are over there in the States. It's against God! God doesn't fucking care. If you believe in God that deeply and believe God has a plan for everyone and God made the world and everything else, he made gay people. God likes gay people. Probably more than he likes you. There we go. Air superiority. Don't be a cunt. There's a good chap. Ah, dear me. Right, let's have a look. The Russian from Zanzibar says, God is gay. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but gay is natural, I guess. It's, you know, nature does it. There's homosexuality in animals and there is in some people. 
Although there's those that say it's a choice. I know. Because surely many people would choose to be a fucking victimised horribly by mouth-breathing fucking gap-faced morons like some of these fuckers. That's what I really want out of my life. I really want to get my fucking head kicked in. I mean, there's been trouble at the, the gay pride events, which will tie into the pride thing soon, with both anti-homosexual attacks and attacks on... There was a couple that had church signs and things, you know, like, right. change your ways. Right? Nothing really. It wasn't like the Phelps stuff, you know, God hates fags or anything. But, um, yeah, these poor fuckers got the shit kicked out of them. That's, see, that's tolerant. Well, was, was it in Turkey the Turkish police turned on the parade? Probably. Yeah, they turned on the parade and started spraying them with water and everything. I don't oh, know yes, yes, it. they did. Was well, it they Turkey? Probably, they want to be lucky they weren't in Iran. They probably been fucking shot or hanged or both, yeah. I imagine. Um, but, yeah, intolerance all around. Um, and when it comes to pride, well, we'll do pride after because I want to talk about something a bit more soon because I'll end up just losing my shit when I talk <laughs> about that. And I've got other things to lose my shit about. Tunisia and um, what happened in Susa in Tunisia. Um, we all know gunman killed 38 people, 30 of whom were British. Uh, they were just on holiday, soaking up some sunshine in Tunisia. Despite the best efforts of the locals, he killed 38 people. In fact, it, it's, it's been reported by one British tourist that the, uh, the locals, the Tunisians, tried to form a human wall to prevent the gunman getting to one of the hotels. The gunman was Sefadin Rezgoy. Um, according to his family, normal young man. Normal young man, never left the country. Um, according to other reports, he trained in Libya, a jihadist camp, along with the guys that um, did the attack at the Bardo Museum uh, back in March. Uh, and he was a member of Islamic Youth, which is a radical group in Tunisia, and would go to mosques allegedly controlled by radical preachers. So there's conflicting reports. I can kind of understand the family thing, because no one wants to say, yeah, I have my suspicions. But I ignored it, and then he went and killed people. You probably feel kind of bad. But there's been a lot of stuff on, on the internet about um, Sifuddin Rezgai, based on the descriptions of his uncle being a normal, happy-go-lucky football-playing lad. And there's a lot of people sort of taking advantage to push their agenda of the whole MK Ultra mind control thing. And also, governments are latching onto this good and proper, which I'll get to a quote from our Defence Secretary soon, which is fucking marvellous. Um, but the mind control thing kind of pisses me off. Because they've latched onto this guy's normal and he's suddenly changed. Governments have used a mind control device on just some fucking kid in Tunisia. Bollocks. It's bollocks. I know I should have an open mind about these things, but there are certain times where if my mind was that fucking open, it'd fall out of one of my fucking ears. Some argue it might have done that a long time ago. Why would they pick this kid who does go to these uh, mosques run by radical Islamists, who, who, who was a part of a recognised radical group, who clearly had an interest in these things. You know, they, no, no, they, they pick someone that just plays football and has nothing to do with uh, radical, you know, being radical in any way and then use their MK Ultra techniques. No, no, come on, guys. Why do you deny people the ability to be fucking assholes based on their religious views or their, their race, colour or creed? Do you know that assholes, bad people, evil fucking bastards exist across all cultures? There are bad Muslims. Sorry, guys. It's not all the fault of the U. Well, actually, it is the fault of the U.S. But anyway, I digress. You know, there are just bad people that react very badly to certain situations. Now, the government's latched onto this by saying he was groomed on the Internet. It, you know, literally making out that he was a normal kid, logged on one day to whatever it is the radical crazy guys use, an ICQ or something, and all of a sudden, that's it. They got hold of him, turned him into a fucking murderer using the internet, because that plays very nicely into the whole thing of clamping down on non-violent extremism and things like that online. Um, bollocks, because now we know he visited mosques and things like that. Now, where it gets quite interesting is that the Tunisians, the Tunisians have already arrested 12 people in connection with the attack, and they're still hunting his accomplices. But it looks like they might not be hunting in the right places, you see, because the UK Defence Secretary, Michael Fallon, um, probably not the sharpest tool in the box, to be fair, he's a UK politician, he told the House of Commons on Thursday, Let the House be in no doubt. The people who perpetrated the murders of our constituents are going to be tracked down. We know one person 
perpetrated the murders. He was shot in the head by Tunisian police. I'm imagining it means everyone else involved. So be in no doubt. Fair enough, right? Kill our citizens, we kill you. Bang on! That's what we like. Um, but then he added, whether they're in Libya, Syria, or anywhere else. Which means we're going to bomb some more kids. Well done. And make more fucking nimrods with AK-47s like that kid left lying face down the street after murdering 38 innocent people and then saying, don't know why that happens. That murderous eyes. Well, stop fucking giving them the reasons to do it. Take, start taking the reasons away. Stopping giving them guns would be one fucking thing. Recently, the Arab coalition against ISIS, you know, like the Gulf states and things like that, they want to arm the Kurds. Got my, my notes on the wrong piece of paper. <laughs> they want to arm them. They really want to give the Kurds some heavy fucking you know, military power to take on ISIS, who have heavy fucking military power from taking it from the Iraqis or us giving it to them. The US is blocking arms being given to the Kurds. Why? Mm. I don't have an answer for that, by the way. I'm, I'm not that way inclined, but why? I thought we were arming groups to deal with ISIS, so why don't we arm the one group that will really fucking take it to them? The Kurds. Why is America blocking? They blame Obama and his administration directly. They're, they're accusing them of obstruction. We want it, but no, it's got to go through the US, then through Baghdad. Meanwhile, people are getting fucking slaughtered by ISIS, getting absolutely slaughtered in the fucking streets and everywhere else, but we're not actually arming. But I thought there was a campaign for us to arm them. Or do we just want to see more and more atrocities and get some boots on the ground, which I you know a lot of people have been calling for. Boots on the ground. Because what we really need, what we really need, is to send more of our young people to die in some godforsaken dusty hellhole, being murdered by some screaming fucking lunatic with a beard, for reasons that we have nothing to fucking do with. Much like the people on that beach. Something's amusing you, Jay. What is it? Just a picture that just pops up. I'm done popped up. We've got any emails there, Joe? We have. We've got one from uh, my cat's name, Pajoria. He says, uh, the Tunisia attacks... Uh, what do they try to accomplish, uh, in your opinion, or do they just do as Muslims always have? Muslims, because that's what all Muslims... See, that's exactly the sort of language that's fucking dangerous. You know, it's like that stupid fucking thing. Hey, well, why don't Muslims stand up and be counted against them? Do you know what? If a devout atheist went out and murdered fucking a thousand people tomorrow, I wouldn't feel the need to apologise for him or condemn him because he's just, he's a fucking murdering prick. But no, we're there. all Muslims are like that. But they're clearly not, or would be fucking dead, because there's lots of them. There's fucking, was it, 1.2 billion? It's that sort of attitude that doesn't fucking help and just makes shit fucking worse. I'm not saying we should appease people or somehow completely change our cultures to, to, to allow another culture to overtake and thrive and destroy the way we live. I'm not suggesting that for a moment. But some level of fucking being reasonable would be... Uh, Quite useful. That's why he did it. Dunno, he's dead. I can't ask him. I'm gonna imagine he had some sort of bullshit reason like, well, they're killing my brothers and sisters in fucking Iraq. And, you know, because it's right that I go and kill some innocent fucking people somewhere else. Because that makes it right, doesn't it? That may, I mean, granted, he's just signed the death warrant of another load of fucking innocent people um, who will be killed in retaliatory strikes at some point. But it doesn't matter because they'll be martyrs. Why does he do it? The fucking mental. Anyone that will go and shoot 38 people on a beach? Mental. Fucking mental. And what the reasons are, the least of the fucking worries. He's mental. There you go. It's like that whole thing with satanic sex abuse in the UK, focusing on the satanic... I don't give a fuck what the reasons were for abusing kids. They were abusing, abusing kids. kids. Yeah. Their reason. Why would I listen to a nutcase's reason for doing things? I just wouldn't. But the fact is, with groups like ISIS, we empower them by killing a lot of innocent people in the Middle East. And we do. We kill a shit ton of innocent people. I mean, give all the excuses we want that we're fighting a war, that we're doing this, that, the other. I mean, to be fair, we really shouldn't fucking be there anyway. We should be leaving fucking to it. Although we can't now because we've created all this mess and now we're stuck. But we just keep creating self-perpetuating. Almost as if somebody wanted it that way. You know, but I think you know it's just that's the way the situation's gone, and that's the way we're heading. 
Can I just say after the uh, Tunisia attacks that um, a lot of the imams over here actually condemn the attacks? Of course they did, but no one gives a fuck. Yeah. No one's listening. Exactly. No one's listening because they have to perpetuate the Muslim thing that they're all evil and bad and fucking every single one of them wants to kill you. Yeah. I was told I was naive for not believing that. My response was actually, you're fucking stupid for believing that. Yeah. Um, but I guess a lot of the people that make these accusations don't tend to live around a lot of different people. You know, because even the family's got a suspiciously fucking narrow gene pool. Uh. Oh, Tate Back Your says, you should be Cameron's right hand, Hayden. Sounding more like a traitor. A traitor! I'm a traitor because I should support sending our young men to die in the desert for no good fucking reason. You can take David Cameron and shove him up your fucking slack ass as well. I'll have no part of that prick. Or the Labour side. I don't like any of them. If I'm a traitor for not wanting to waste the lives of young men willing to die for their country, no matter what their country is killing them for, well then I'll be a traitor. Because I'm going to put it to you that you're the fucking traitor. Anyone... Anyone that would let a young person die for no good fucking reason. I mean, come on, why did we go into Afghanistan? We were after Bin Laden! What, one fucking man? The Taliban were very bad! Well, so were a lot of fucking countries' leaders. We don't appear to be bombing them flat. No, fuck you, traitor. Please, go fuck yourself. I'd gladly be a traitor if it means I can stand around and say, I don't support people dying for no good fucking reason. And don't you dare try out that war on terror bollocks. We just seem to be making more of it. That's totally counterproductive. We're losing. Mostly because I'm fucking nimrods like you. You're a traitor. <laughs> Go on, fuck yourself. Um, let's have a look here. Hot Bun said, send all the muzzies off to get killed. Yeah, that, that, sure, that'll work. Um, Zook says, Hayden, answer my fucking email. Maybe, maybe not. That's probably not the best way of getting it answered. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you like to hear one of his emails, actually? Yeah, go on, let's hear one. Yeah, yeah I'll give you one. Uh, if Hayden gets sunburn on his head uh, and puts his pee hole on, and puts his pee hole on, will he look like an erect penis? There you go, there, there's one of them. Has your, has your helmet got a beard? You know, I don't mean when your mum's at it with her beard, I mean your actual helmet. No, of course, I look like the world's fattest matchstick when I burn my head, and thank you for the quality email. <laughs> we'll be sure to read more of your out. Yeah, I can't imagine when, uh, but I'm sure it'll happen one day. Uh, have we got any emails not from fucking morons? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, well, well <laughs> I'm not <too> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bit borderline, is it? Yeah. Richie Dong. <laughs> <laughs> He's put the head in. Hayden, you twat. Aston Villa to finish up on Manchester City 2015-2016 season. I'm so confident I'll put 20 quid on it. Hopefully you're well, by the way. P.S. Uh, let me back in the forums. Kind regards. <laughs> I'd take that bet if I thought for a minute you'd pay up. I, I'd, be, I'd, I'd take that bet for Aston Villa to finish outside the bottom fucking third of the table. But uh, there we go. Yeah, up the Villa. Especially when someone does buy Ben Teke for 32 million. Um... And then you'll score lots of goals. But you got, you, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll be you know, really cool in sort of mid-table. It'll be great. Um, <laughs> uh, does my beard get split ends? Don't know, possibly. Uh, lots of things about being bald as if it's like fucking new to me or I'm somehow <laughs> sensitive about it. I'm not sure. Do they do that, do you think? Do you think Johnny's like, I'll, I'll fucking show him. <laughs> I'll show That fat bald bloke on the telly there, I'll show him. I'm going to, you're bald! <laughs> yeah. It's true. <coughs> Came as a surprise to me. You fat. I know I eat a lot. Um, you're going to have to try a little bit harder. Sorry. Um, have we got anything decent in here? Um, oh, decent in Troll Central. It's Hayden's father, Alistair Crowley. <laughs> Actually, I quite like that one. Um, Hayden, how do you feel about Michael Farage? Who's Michael Farage? No, I don't know Michael Farage. Never heard of Michael Farage. Is he Dave Farage's <laughs> brother? <laughs> don't know who Michael Farage is. <coughs> Have we got any emails there? Yeah, we've got one from Anon. He says, uh, It would be entertaining if Lively started to make some contests, such as Pick of the Week, uh, Best Homemade Clip of the Month, or something like that. Best regards. Yeah, I think we'll probably have to do it through the show. I don't know. 
that would be developing anything like that for the site, at least no plans at the moment, because we've sort of got all the guys balls deep in doing version 3 of the site, which is being really complex, and it's going to be epic, though, guys, I promise. It should land this year, and it's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, it, it's Genuinely, it's coming. You can still just use the site, just come watch videos, comment, fuck off if you want. But the other stuff you'll be able to do with it is brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. Blue cheese, I don't mind you saying I'm bald, just don't spam the place up. It's untidy. There's lots of people that have retarded things to say. <laughs> can I just say Andrew says, uh, tell Hayden Ray Mears wants his shirt back? Fuck Ray Mears. <laughs> I'm not fuck out of him, hence me having his shirt. The guy's a pussy. <coughs> I can tell it's not Steve Irwin's though. No fault. <laughs> Someone's going to moan about that now. I know this shit goes. If you want to do the quiz, by the way, don't forget to uh, text in via Skype saying what your username is and John will make a note of it and we'll call you back. I think we'll probably do the quiz after. You're not going to win fuck all, apart from pride. Do you know what? As you know, we like to have videos that are related to the topics here. We've already spoke about a couple of topics, and we're going to talk about pride in a little while. But if you anything you do want to talk about, please send an email. It's uh, thelivelyshow at gmail.com. Skype in, lively underscore Skype. If we miss your call, we will call you back uh, if possible. Or at Lively Show on Twitter if you'd like to tweet in live. But uh, we do like showing related, serious content, as you know. I don't even remember what order I put the videos in, so I guess I'm going to say, oh, no, I know which the first video is. This is very serious. This is serious shit. And if many of you people will be virgins in Troll Central, I, I can tell this. Um, this guy, he's going to show you how it's done when you go and watch a dancing lady. Sexy comes but I think he's doing it wrong. What I what I did find admirable is not only was the, I don't know what the fuck he was doing to the front end of it, trying to slip a finger up her ass at the same time, <laughs> clearly trying on a bit of the romance. All right, darling, let me bite you on the funny and slip a finger up your bum. That's what the ladies like. My word, I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but he was having one hell of a time. See, related videos, boys. Yep. That's how the fucking pros do it. Well, oh, it would be pros if Marty didn't sit there going, you know this shit does, just doesn't work. <laughs> it works for everyone else that sits where, Marty. I did a show today with There's Richie. There's one other person who sits there. What happened when I was sat there doing Richie's show? I saw the slip up today. Yeah, one. <laughs> no excuses. You're but <laughs> there was also a cocked up when I plugged a mic in. But at any point, <laughs> did I go, oh, this just doesn't work? <laughs> did I blame the software for my error? <laughs> Guys, if you could see it here, I wish you could see because when something goes wrong, somebody just said, Bro66 says Marty is fucking retard. Dude, you should at least get it right when you say that about people. It doesn't reflect well on you. You numb retard. <laughs> anyway, when Marty gets something wrong, it's fucking beautiful. Because if you watch, it starts off, he's sat there pretty cool, comfortable. 
เรื่องครับอันนี้ก็ what's wrong my nothing so apart from that one week where he just went like which man I don't know I don't fuck it's when you got one layer in front of another somehow wasn't it just put his arms up like half oh that that was not a good week I don't know what it is there's a thousand people watching but fuck it I could look for the problem but I give him yeah I could look for the problem but keep them waiting. Or could get the pro up there and just sort it out nice and easy. Blue Cheese 420 says Hayden is a gay enabler. What? I didn't realise it was up to me to <laughs> de-enable. <laughs> I'm a gay enabler. Why? Do you need a hookup? If you do, I'll I'll see. Hang on. Um, Blue Cheese, who are these queers? <laughs> Both of these boys have touched ladies. That aren't related to them very closely. Something you may never experience. One more than it. Um, yeah, someone just said, "What's the funny story?" Um, the likes on Facebook Ooh. are there. Are the likes up to two hundred and ten? Are we on Facebook? Sorry. Uh, let's just find out uh, if we're going to tell. Do you honestly think I can get on Facebook? On <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even try it on there. <laughs> Shit will go wrong. <laughs> Shit will go wrong. My Just Facebook app's gone it. missing. That's, that'll have to do. Um, oh, do you know what? I think we might be there. No way. It's not looking good, Jay. I'm going to be honest it's with you. It's got to be done, mate. It's got to be. It's going to come out sooner or later. No, we're no. not there. Oh. No. no, apparently it's 202. That's Get on Facebook. Good. The live leak show. What would you prefer, Jay? <laughs> would you prefer to tell the story yourself? Or would you want Hazen? Oh, this oh we show. do. No, no, I'll, 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 I'll tell the story. <laughs> no, I don't know what story I'll is. I'll tell the story. No, we need some more likes if you want to hear the dirty story uh, about Jay, about Dirty Jay, and why I call him Dirty Jay, if you'd really like to know. Um, um, get some likes going on Facebook, and we'll uh, tell you. Right, what a bit of a message here from someone. Do you huh? want to read it out? Yeah. Uh, Hayden, what do you think about the US putting out terror alerts for the 4th of July? Then all of a sudden capturing isolated ISIS members in the States. Convenient? Have they been finding some? Apparently. Well, funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not a massive conspiracy theorist. I'm quite far from it. But, you know, no matter how much you don't want to think that shit goes on, sometimes shit happens where you just go... One of them, the glaring one, was the passport on 9-11. You know, the guy's passport happens to be lying there. Oh, I struggle with that. The 9-11 report, I struggle with. It doesn't say that it's an inside job, but it was so fucking poor. But these are the these are the things you struggle with, you know? Ah, yes, it, was, it happened in Britain. We're going to have to take away some more of your eyes to protect you from terrorists. Now, the, the Arabs weren't playing ball. They weren't blowing shit up. So they miraculously uncovered an IRA plot to kill Prince Charles, the first one since 1987. Um... And it's like this, and you got all these drills going on. Uh, Blue Cheese 420 says, Hayden, you believe WTC7 fell on its own? Um, it's not a matter of what I believe, it's just a matter of what I can prove. I know. Saw a big documentary in the UK where they showed the flip angle building had a fucking great big hole in it. But it didn't half look like a demolition, didn't it? So I don't know. Uh, as far as I did anyone die in Building 7? I can't even remember now, that's pretty bad. If they didn't, I couldn't give a fuck what happened to Building 7. If no one died in it, I don't give a fuck, because then it's just fraud, so I'm not interested. Uh, if no one died, don't care. Um, let's have a look here. Why am I even looking at Troll Central? <laughs> Live Seal says it's showing 210 likes. Yeah, I saw that comment as well. It's 1,300 people in Jay. Oh, that's embarrassing. So what? We did have 1,400 before, but we can't do anything about that. Um... Yeah, you see, it's on. See, it's showing two hundred and two on my report here. Oh no, it's two hundred and twelve. Look, two hundred and fifteen. Look at the poor boy's <laughs> face. Uh, two hundred and fifteen. I promise. Get it trending in Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because that's going to happen with the eight people that use Twitter. Come here. Half of them have already told me, I won't use Twitter. They'll find me. They'll find me. I'm like, who? The government. They don't, they don't care about you, dude. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. 
Uh, you get it up to 215. Just th that's three more likes on Facebook, and I'll tell you the story at the end of the show. I promise I will tell you the story. Tyrone wants to know where Hayden would you jump in front of a bullet for the Queen. No, oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't jump in front of a sponge for the fucking Queen. She's <laughs> just another old lady. In fact, I. Uh, no, I, I like to think, I don't know, because she is an old woman. Regardless of what evil, twisted, fucking deviltry her family get up to. He's trying to say bit. she's had a day. Eh? He's trying to, he trying to say, she, say she's very old and she's had a day. Well, I just think the whole fucking royal family's had the day. <laughs> to be honest with you, I, I can't be doing with fucking any of them. Oh, you know what's even worse than them? What's even worse than the royal family? Are those people that think they're special. Yeah, the hangers on. How can, you know, even people in the street, oh, you got to love them. Oh, high born. Fuck off. <laughs> Their genetic makeup is worse than any of ours. It's a fucking soup. That's why they had to get Germans in. To sort of dilute it a little bit. It was getting a bit thick in there. Um, I've got, I dislike the royals intensely. I, I don't see the reason for them. They're good for, good for tourism. You can keep the buildings. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, they, you know, keep the fucking queen for a bit. It's not like she influences very much anyway. Keep one or two of them, castrate them power-wise, fucking do what you want with the rest of them. Remember, I've already said, you know, I, I don't ever say, um, I, I never wish harm on anybody. No, I don't want anyone to get hurt. But when the queen passes away of natural causes, which she will one day, it wouldn't break my heart if they tossed her bloated, rotting corpse into the street for dogs to eat. That's all I'm saying. I don't wish harm on her. She's dead, it won't matter. I'd be fine with that. You know, let me just, you know, Prince Philip, hang him up from a lamppost and give kids sticks to beat his corpse with. So don't hurt them, wait till they're dead and then desecrate the corpses. That's much nicer. That went off piece, didn't it? That escalated quickly. Have we got any more emails there, John? We have. Uh, actually, no. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I'd one lined up. I've just been doing Skype. And uh, we had uh, my grand wanted to talk to you uh, before. I call him. He's still around, but there's uh, Vitar Strangler. He tried to phone in. Oh fuck him! I do like his name. It, it indicates that he's not bright. But okay. we'll talk to him maybe later. Let's get my grand on. Okay. Yeah, it's a fucking big truck going past outside, isn't it? Greetings. The room's shaking, my grand. There's a very big truck going past. Thought I'd share. How are you, sir? Room's shaking, man. Very big truck going past. He's got his stream on. No, it was my heart beating. Oh bless! Could you turn your stream down a little bit for me, please? Because we uh, uh, we get the ten right, second echo. What can we do for you this evening, sir? Uh, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit here. I think. How are you? I'm not bad, all things considered. You know the fact that I'm old, fat, and bald. I'm coping with nah, it quite no, well. Listen. You know? Listen, I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. I want to introduce myself. How how you doing? I'm good. Still, as I was. If you say, well, I'm, I'm glad you called in, sir. What can what can we what can we do for you this evening? Uh, I don't know. It was just uh, a lark on my part to uh, get a chance to talk to you and uh, get out there and I guess shine a bit. Someone's just suggested I give you the quiz. Um, we're not going to do the quiz for about another 10 minutes, so would you like to do the quiz afterwards, my grand? Yeah, I did get the uh, Mau Mau one the other uh, you did. couple of weeks ago. You did, didn't you? Well, what we'll do, John will take a note that you want to play the quiz, and you'll be the first person I call back to do the quiz. All right, keep it on the simple side, okay? I promise I will read the questions as they appear on the sheet. By the way, just so you know, we did a, a bit of fun. Uh, here in the office the other day because the, the internet was down so Jay and a guy our sales manager called Stuart um, I wish we had some of this queued up but we don't because uh, it's going to be used for something else but uh, we decided to play Mastermind for them which is a British show where you ask people general knowledge questions okay we asked them 25 questions each Jay got one Stuart got two and uh, here was one of the sample questions which I said to him if cats are feline and cows are bovine, what are sheep? Bovine, I think. 
Well, no, because that was in the question. If cats are oh. feline and cows are bovine, what are sheep? Do you know what Stuart said? Oh, Divine. <laughs> <laughs> and when we told him the answer, he said, I knew it was one of the Vine family. So, believe me, no matter how badly you do, you'll do better than either of them fellas did last Friday. Um, might play that on the stream one time because I did enjoy that quiz. McGrand, we will call you back in a bit, sir. Don't go away. I look away. forward to it. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Catch you soon. That was McGrand just calling for a chat. That was nice. It's nice when people did. I wish more people would call in, have a little chat, where I don't have to shout at them uh, and things like that. Just looking at what that pop up is on the screen. Sorry. Um, email us, the live league show at gmail.com at live league show on twitter and live league underscore skype on skype and if you'd like to take part in the quiz send a text message through skype john will make a note of your name and we'll call you back when we can if you just want to call in to have a chat talk shit talk about one of the topics we've already discussed call if we don't answer we'll call you back i'm going to say if we don't answer i mean when we don't answer we'll call you back john's keeping an eye on shit mm. nearly finished my water not even pouring any water over me hey, um, What's up, Sausage? 216 likes. 216. Right, we will tell the J story towards the end of the show. I promise. I'll make a note now. People really want to hear this <laughs> story. <laughs> well, it is why I call him Dirty J. J, what's a thesaurus? Okay, you've got a tablet in your hands with a connection to the internet. Dinosaur. That's right. Didn't you say it was a um, when asked at home? Didn't you insinuate it was part of a female's anatomy? No. Yes, you did. Do you know how I know you did? Your mother rang me and told me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how shit works, right? She even said, be really horrible to him tonight. But I'm never horrible to Jay. I mean, look at him. Look at that little face. He's got enough problems. Just look at him. Bless. Any emails, John? We haven't actually, but we have got someone who's wanting to Skype in it. Oh, who's that? we've never spoken to before. It's uh, a lady. Uh, she's calling now. Do you want it? Yeah, go for it. Let's go for it. Hello. 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 Who's this? It's Meredith. Hello, Meredith. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm very well. I'm about to be rather rude to you, though, so brace yourself. Right. So, just so you guys know, Meredith does a spot on the Richie Allen Show and his live show, and you'll probably see a lot more of it if you're into that alternative news circuit. Bit of a conspirator, you know, obviously. Very open-minded, but managed not to let her brain spill out of her head. <laughs> Maybe the uh, peroxide has allowed me to be more open-minded than I should. Absolutely not that I would ever say blonde women are stupid. No, I'll I would you. never say you. that because okay. I think it'd be rude. <laughs> I'll be rude for you. There we go. What would you like to talk about, Meredith? I wanted to know what you thought about Tom Crawford being evicted from his apartment, the elderly cancer-ridden gentleman today. Well, it's fucking rotten, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> this, <laughs> what can you say? An old man with cancer's turfed out of his home. You know, yeah, it's shit and it's wrong and it's disgusting. And um, that anyone could even do. If, if you were a landlord, no matter how dire straits you were in, if a guy's got terminal cancer, you'd think, well, you know what, I'll suck it up for a few months. Maybe try and help him work out his problems with the welfare or whatever. No, let's just kick him out. Fuck him. It's only a person. Um, yeah, I'm disgusted. Did you see that the police are blocking access to his home? They've set up a blockade. Is that to stop him getting back in or to stop people protesting? It's kind of both. He's not allowed back in and it's to stop people from helping him to get back in too, which is of all the things happening in the world right now, that's really not the best concern for the police. No. Doesn't he have a, a legal right to enter the property to recover goods anyway, though? He has a perfectly legal right, especially because they've changed his mortgage, saying he owed money when he never did, and they entered his apartment with no warrant. So they had no legal right to do what they did today. They waited till he left and was at least two hours away from his residence, and they waited for his daughter to leave. Then they smashed in the house, no warrant, and blocked him from getting back in. 
That's fucking disgusting. See, um, the law, and this is the truth, this, this is not, you know, not for people like us. Uh, quite a few years ago, I rented a house myself and my uh, my wife we paid the rent every month landlord didn't pay his mortgage so we went through all the rigmarole I went to court the second time um, and I showed how it was illegal to evict based on this hadn't been done that hadn't been done the law I showed the law to the judge who then said to me we're a bit too we can't really deal with this on a Friday afternoon so uh, I think it would be unfair to let you stay there, unfair to the mortgage company. So you got to, and you can always set up a new case if you want to fight it further. And that was it. It's like, but this is the law. Yeah, well, we're not going to deal with that. No, but you can spend your dollars and your time to set up a new case to stay in your own place. But you could That's never have exactly done it in the time. Law. Yeah, no, you can't win with them. And to turf, I mean, all right, you know, we're healthy people. We were working. We, we were all right, you know. But what about all the people that aren't? I spoke to the guy who came, uh, who comes to, you know, evict people. Because we were leaving, he was there. And um, we had a chat. Because um, it's not often he gets to chat to people, being civil to him. The guy has to wear a stab vest. Um, but he's saying, you know, he's, he's turned up at these places where private landlords haven't been paying mortgages, so he's been repossessed. And there's been, like, women with kids and nowhere to go. All the stuff in the front garden, nowhere to go. Nothing. So, you know, it's disgusting. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. And um, I hope the poor guy... Well, he'll get some help, won't he? He'll, he won't be short of some supporters. And hopefully, um, you know, he gets somewhere comfortable to stay. He can stay at my house if he wants to come to the United States. <laughs> Don't offer that. You never know. He could be mental. Oh, man. And then he's going to want all kinds of things. We're going to have to cook him breakfast every morning. And keep in mind, he has got a terminal illness, so he'll be a real drag on your social life. Oh, I won't even be able to go out. Won't so be able to see go. any movies. He's going to want me to stay home and watch movies with him. Yeah, best off just sending him your support and let his relatives look after him, to be honest. Fair enough. There Fair enough. Are. I'll give him your address. I'm glad we... Yeah, yeah, give him my address. That'll, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even let my friends come around and see me. Meredith, That's thank you so much for calling in. We're going to have to... To, to move on to really stupid things. But thank you. It was very nice to talk to you. And hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Yay. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. That was Meredith. That was an actual woman for you guys in Troll Central. That was actually a female person. I'm, I'm sure you'll be trying very hard to chase her off at the moment. Saying things like, make me a sandwich and other witty things. <laughs> um, yes, Freakster. I imagine she does have boobies. Ladies do. Some do. Uh, some don't. What have you seen, Marty? Just people commenting boobies. Oh, they can't help it. <laughs> unlively. They always say to me, why aren't there more women unlively? It's because you fucking morons are here. As soon as one posts, it's, how dare you have an opinion? You are a woman. <laughs> and that's coming from people who basically have to, you know, count out loud when they're counting their tongue. That's how bright these fucking people are. And, uh, yeah, they just can't help themselves. You know, any woman posts anything with an opinion... Show us your tits. Because that works, obviously, doesn't it? You know? Has anyone ever had a reason with that? Show us your tits. Oh, yeah, go on, all right, man. Oh, fuck, you know. Someone in there will say, yeah, but it's always a blatant lie. It happened when he shouted it at a porn video. On the phone. Show us your tits. Oh, there they are. Yeah, shit works. Jay, your dirty story is being told towards the end of the show. You'll find out why I call him Dirty Jay. Trust doing the quiz? It is lagging a little bit, actually. What's the, uh... Buzz. On that one. What's it saying on CPU usage? You've got a flashing light. Please fail, please fail. No please flashing fail. light. CPU <laughs> at 12%. Yes, we have got a flashing <laughs> stream light. Pull yeah, that <laughs> thing out. Stop and start. So you've got to. And then stop and start again. There you go. Uh, stop. And start. Is it going to go red? There we go. Uh, put it back on the browser. Type in the window. Tell everyone to refresh just in case they can't hear me. Um, is it going to come back? There we go. It's come back. It's just an internet problem. Uh, we can't stream at a lower bit rate than that. Hey, at least it's happened towards the end of this show, which makes a change. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on it and how it's going. 
but he seems to be okay. Uh, Zook says the live stream is fucked. There we go. Aphid Lip says professional. Of course, it's not fucking professional. Look at us. <laughs> you know what someone said to me the other day? You need to get a professional production team in. <laughs> well, I've had all that before, haven't I? That's money well fucking yeah. spent, isn't it? Yeah, we'll spend a grand a week on the bastard. <laughs> That'd be great. Because we make it back with our advertising and massive viewers. No. <clears throat> Conchuke says, thanks for supporting Alex Jones. I guess you're welcome. <laughs> I don't, did I do that? Um, yep. No, I, you know, I support Alex Jones' right to be Alex Jones and to do as he wishes, you know, and good luck to the guy. A great email in here. Go on. It's from Tyrone. He says, Hayden, whose mum is more disappointed? Jaden or Marty? Uh, Jay's or Marty's? Jaden. I've never met Marty's. One more interrupt. But my mum did move to the other side of the world. <coughs> That's <laughs> your true. answer. That's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> With half my family. I can't <laughs> answer that. Right. Marty just did, but I will say that Jay's mum is actually disappointed in both of them. <laughs> so it works all right. Well, now that Marty's moved out of that house, Jay gets the brunt of it, I would imagine. No. No? You should. The younger one. You are the, yeah, because you're the baby, aren't you? No. Have you got a younger brother? No. How fucking how many His brothers sister. you got? His sister can outthink you three days, any day of the fucking week. No. She's an evil, twisted, genius child. Jay, you can shake your head all you want. It's a fucking fact. The kid's smarter than you. You're going to have to live with it. I'm not calling you stupid. I am. Just a third. I, I am actually calling you stupid. <laughs> Don't take it hard. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. Just a bit thick. Um... What's this? Speed this shit show along so fried chicken can go. He can go live anytime he likes. By the way, I think he usually goes on after this or during this, whatever. Check out Fried Chicken's live show. He's, he's very, very good. And uh, yeah, it's worth checking out. Some people tell me about that as if somehow I should be <laughs> jealous because obviously more successful shows on Live League would be a bad thing, right? <laughs> I would fucking love it if there were like a dozen more successful shows than this on Live League. It would be fantastic to see. Well, yeah, after this show, check out for our chicken show. Uh, he'll go live then. Uh, someone says speed it along, but unfortunately, you don't understand how time works, you thick fucker. <laughs> you see? I can't make time go faster. There are many things I can do. I know you think it works like that because you zone out for a while when you're working on complex problems. Like, how long does that fucking craft dinner go in the microwave for? Shit like that. Shit that catches you out. I can't do anything about time. It'll pass as time passes. Go out for a walk. Have a wank. <laughs> Smell your finger after you've been fingering your dog. Whatever it is you do to pass the time, do a bit of it. Knock yourself out. I'll spam fried chicken show on here with pleasure. Just don't worry about doing it for him. I'll take care of it. Blue cheese, you can start your own show, show but when you ask who's with me, I'm going to guess the answer is not many people. Um, oh, War Gypsy said Hayden is losing weight. He's sexy. War Gypsy, oh, I'm not losing weight. <laughs> I can't. I live the most sedentary lifestyle. Um, right, that's Troll Central. Don't got any uh, emails there, John? We've not really got many emails, but we've got. Uh, we're on Sky, the quiz tonight. People are crying out for the quiz. Yeah, we're going to have my grand on the quiz. Okay. Is it too late? It's getting on for 11.40. Oh, okay. We've well, got, right. we got 10 minutes. I'm good. Because we do an hour and a half, don't we? Uh, any thoughts on the Aer Lingus British Airways pending merger? That's no. a medic man. No. no. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. Don't change anything, really. Yeah. If it was Ryanair, it'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Awakened villain says, lively mods like fingering dogs. Because I can't think of an insult of my own. <laughs> lively mods are all better than you in every conceivable way. And if they finger a dog, they do it with more, considerably more style and panache than you could ever manage. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure the Lively Mods will be really happy that I've just said that as well. Oh, well. Uh, they'll live with it. Paradise Lost says, I fingered your mother and it was like a grain of salt going into a black hole. Paradise Lost, you've never fingered anyone. <laughs> not my mother. Not even your own mother. And she'd let anyone finger her. So, uh, yeah. Grain of salt into the black hole. That's. Are we saying my mum's got a loose vagina on account of being a whore? 
He's calling my mother a whore. That's another name you must write down. <laughs> I get it there. I, I just, I need to remember that. He's calling my mother a whore because he's going to get to me. <laughs> Sharp one. <laughs> We've had an email from uh, Mr. Got to You. Oh. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know why uh, some of the old videos don't work. Pass. Yeah, some of, some of them don't work. They just don't work at all. Pass. And uh, when you want to read uh, your comments, uh, your own, you know, want to go back on your own comments, and uh, it takes about 35, 40 seconds to refresh and, and it's come through. No. Do you mean your latest comments? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, they go across Just several... The screen, don't you? They have to go across a few servers. So it's kind of potluck. You'll make a comment, it could show up for you straight away. You could then refresh, and it could be gone for ages. As It has to propagate... A, there's several comment servers due to the volume of comments that we have. So that's how that shit works, unfortunately. Um, there's not a lot we can do about that. Right! Who wants to play the quiz? Right, we did say we are going to phone the ground first. We did, didn't we? Should we do that? I'm sure there's loads of shit I didn't talk about that I wanted to. Yeah, well, fuck it. Things happen. It's not like we're pro or anything anyway. So. <sighs> Talk about yourselves. Oh, do you want me to call him? Yeah, go on, give him a call. All right, here we go. Hate that Skype tube. Here. Awesome. Are you ready to do the quiz, sir? Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you four questions. You will give me four answers. They will all be the correct answer. I will give it my best. I can ask no more of you. Thank you. Your first question. In fact, I'll start a new page. Oh. You might wish I hadn't. Well, there we go. Who won six consecutive women's single titles in the 1980s? Shit, I'll say Chris Everett. In which country? You've already answered that question. <laughs> <laughs> he told me earlier. This is from a different website. Yeah, I can't give you that. You'll, you'll know that one. That's not fair. Can I, can I say one thing for yeah. future callers? Yeah. It's it's pretty bizarre to watch you because of the delay and then hear you because I shut the sound off. It's uh, it's pretty wild. Yeah, you'll hear me through Skype a lot like earlier. A time. Well, it's good because it means people can't type the answers in. Or let's be fair. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm ready for the next question. I didn't. Did I get the first one? I'll tell you. Should oh, calm down. Okay. Fucking right, hell. Thank you. Don't worry. We're doing this properly. Thank you. We're doing this shit properly. Fucking hell. All right, sir. Bye. <sighs> Right, next question. What does a numismatist, that's a numismatist, study or collect? No idea. I concede. <clears throat> oh, that's too British. That's not fair. Who captained Jules Verne's submarine, Nautilus? Captain Nemo. And your... Final question, my grand. The llama belongs to the family of animals commonly called what? They're related to the camel, but I'll give it up. I, I don't know the answer. You're not going to have a guess. Go on, have a guess. <sighs> I, I'm seeing it on the... I don't want to cheat. I, I, I can see Right, McGrand, I asked you who won six consecutive Wimbledon singles titles in the 80s. You said Chris Everett. The answer was actually Martina Navratilova. I think she was part man, though, wasn't she? Very possibly. Massive click. Uh, um, uh. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> uh, I asked you what a numismatist studies or collects. The answer is coins. 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 Interesting. There you go. You see, just keep it in there, because I'll probably ask this again in a couple of months. Uh, who captained the Nautilus? It is, of course, Captain Nemo. You were correct. And the llama belongs to the family of animals commonly called what? That's why I asked you to have a guess. It's actually camels. Oh, I said I said they were in the camel family, though. I, 
Uh, but that's why you mentioned camels. I said, have a guess, you know, and you said, no. I'm not. Uh, I know, you were leading. You were, I, I was trying to help you out, dude, because you seem like a decent, no, you were fair. You're upstanding right. gentleman. But you did get one out of four, which is actually decidedly average. <laughs> so thank you for trying, sir, and it was a pleasure speaking to you, and I'm sure we will talk to you next week. Take care. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Um, we got any emails there, John? No. Not one email. <laughs> Sorry, but they've, they've actually stopped. Jay's dirty. St Hang on, what time is it? No, not quite. Have we got any more people that want to play the quiz? Yes. I can have one got, more. Uh, my cat's name is Petroya. Okay. Is as as fucking Jimmy Savile's fan no, club guy? No, he's not. No, not yet. <laughs> what about Happy Dog? No. Oh, he's probably sick of you hanging up on him. Go <laughs> on, put uh, cat's name through. Let's get him on and get this thing put to bed. Because then I can tell everyone why he's called Dirty Jay. Oh, yeah. Game over. Uh, oh, oh, just in time. Oh, all right. Hang on one second, guys. Uh, hang on. Yeah, we'll just hang on with the... No, Are not you, you Hayden. <laughs> hang on. One Have second. you got more guys there? Have you got friends there? Are you live with somebody? I right do. Now? My neighbors. Oh, <laughs> your neighbors. That's nice. Are you gonna, have no. you been showing them what you watch on a Thursday evening? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> can they hear me? They can hear you, yes. Should I be on my best behavior? Absolutely not. Oh, that's good. I was about to say cunt. So uh, I'm glad I didn't. Dude, are you ready to do the quiz? I am. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to ask you four questions. You will get each of them correct. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, you might. Come on, don't be defeatist, dude. All right, we'll see. You've scored anything up to one out of four before now. Yeah, one out of four. First question. Which guitarist is known as Slow Hand? Just not a good one. <laughs> Christ, he's got like 12 people in there. Even everyone's there going, no idea. I ain't got a fucking clue. That's easy. Oh, uh, Come just on, say something. Say anything. Bert, what are you fucking... Les Paul, anything. Just say a name. Say something. Um, Barbara Bush. There you go. My favourite guitarist. <laughs> in which 1979 film was the spaceship called Nostromo? And if you get this wrong, so help me, I will fucking give you hell. Alien. Good. <laughs> what have been cooked in syrup and glazed to make the sweet meat marrons glacé? Glacé? Glasses? Glacé? Oh, for it's foreign. I don't know. <laughs> so, repeat it, please. I have my hands up, so you know I'm not... You have your Eagle. hands up. That's awesome. <laughs> well done. I've not got a gun. Um, what have been cooked in syrup and glazed to make the sweet meat marrons glacé? Or glasses, or glasses. Uh, ham. Ham. The Shat el Arab, the river of Arabia, is the confluence of which two other rivers? Confluence. Nile and. Shit, I don't know. The shit river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got you. Got you. It's that shit river. <laughs> the old shit river. Go through that shitty country. Also known as the Ganges. Yeah. <laughs> Full of shitting crocodiles. <laughs> and corpses. Uh, okay. Yeah, your first question asks you which guitarist is known as Slowhand. You said Barbara Brush. Brush? Bush. That was incorrect. Uh, it was Eric Clapton. Okay. I said him, why is someone cheering? They obviously didn't give you the right fucking answer, did they? <laughs> Yay, we got it wrong. I, I, I you can't you take it. Don't explain it to me. Don't explain <laughs> it to me. Uh, I then asked you in which 1979 film was a spaceship called Nostromo. It was Alien, you were correct. I then asked what have been cooked in syrup and glaze to make the sweet meat marron glacé, whatever is it, sweet chestnuts. Oh. Yeah. All right. Food for morons. Probably an acquired taste, isn't it? <laughs> acquired taste. Like I fucking truffles. Ribs. You ever eaten a truffle? <laughs> Tastes yeah. like shit. Yeah, not great. If it didn't cost 300 fucking dollars, you'd never acquire the taste. <laughs> if someone said, eat this, it's only five cents. You said, fuck off. 
It smells like shit and tastes like old shit. But now I've acquired a taste. I digress. I then asked you, uh, the Shat el Arab, the River of Arabia, is the confluence of which two other rivers? The answer was actually the Tigris and the Euphrates. Although I would have accepted Shit River for one of them, to be fair. <laughs> um, you did get a decidedly average one out of four, though. We did, did cost me about 100 viewers. <laughs> but it's all right, that's why we do the quiz at the end. That's less people are going to hear why you're a dirty little bastard, Jay. <laughs> I appreciate the opportunity. Dude, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, hi, everybody in Cat's Name's house. Hi. Hi. Oh, bless. <laughs> he sounds so special. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, that was Cat's Name and his friends in the uh, sheltered accommodation that they live in. Uh, doubtless with their carer sat in the corner shaking his head, disconstantly wondering why his life went so wrong. Uh, but it was nice for him to call in, did the quiz. Got any emails there, John? No, not a single one after that. Awesome, well, fuck you. Now, we do have someone else who wants to do the quiz. A bit late now, I've had enough, I'm bored. Oh, right, okay. Well, who else wanted to do it? Uh, a fellow Yorkshireman, that's all I can say. I don't know his real, I know his real name, but I don't know his username. Yeah, best not to give his real, his real name and address. <laughs> uh, that's it, we can only really do a couple of quiz ones, because it does take up a lot of time and uh, things like that. There's still stories we didn't cover, because I mean, nothing terribly interesting, to, to be fair. <laughs> Um, but there were a couple I wouldn't mind as well. By the way, George Galloway. I've not spoke about George um, for a while. And people often accuse me of being a little nasty about George Galloway. Well, I say this. George Galloway wants to show his support for the people of Bradford and his dedication to Bradford by trying to be the Lord Mayor of London. Well, let me tell you this, guys. I support George Galloway in his quest to be Lord Mayor of London. Primarily, because I really don't fucking like London. And there we go. We're going to have a video and then I'm going to tell you Jay's dirty secret. This video is very important and very instructional. Please enjoy. Matt. We were wondering why the viewers were dropping. Usually we're used to dropping viewers, but not that many. Seems the link died again for some reason. I don't know why that keeps happening. That's really bothering. Because uh, that's probably why like, so many people just like, can't get in. And we usually only notice that because the, the, the numbers drop in a weird way. It's not like a fall, it's a thud. And then it carries on, and it'll thud, and then come back up. Um, still, I mean, 900 people is a fucking shitload of people. Um, cause people say that sometimes, don't they? Like, well, TV shows get millions. I'd shit myself if if we had like. Well, I mean, the most I ever did, I think, was four thousand people. Hayden, why don't you start Twitch streaming? Because you fucking moron. It's called the Live League Show. What a fucking. Why don't we start Twitch streaming? It might not help us. <laughs> We're not very good at this, in case you haven't noticed. What if? Why we did? Because it's not called the Twitch Show. Why don't you go to Twitch and talk to them? Oh. Anyway, we're working. Most people can still see it. That's all that matters. Um, let's have a look here. Um, yeah, don't forget the fried chicken show is going to be on afterwards. Go and check out his 
popping the link in Troll Central there. Um, you want to go and check that out. Uh, Blue Cheese 420, the day I need help from someone like you is the day I should probably quit, which was probably a while ago, to be honest. No, Jay's dirty story. You'll be pleased to know, Jay, there's at least 400 people less than there was before. Okay? So we're telling it to less people. Um, but while we're doing that, um, just I've got to get another quick video in because I want to know what, what, what would you guys do for a bet? I keep hedging it, I'm, I'm dragging it out here terribly. But we've only got a few minutes to kill. What would you do for a bet? Would, 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 would you do this for a bet? No, si voglio credere. Quello è lui. Non ti voglio credere. Questo. Dimmi come devi fare. Il dito glielo devi strisciare bene dentro così. No, qui a qua. Sì. Con uno solo. Con due, con due, dai, con due. Non è vero. Non è vero. Io sto male. What a dirty bastard. Oh. <laughs> Okay, look, we've dragged it out long enough. We want to know why I call Jay Dirty Jay. You know, I, I, Jay actually asked me, he said, promise me you'll never tell people why, you know, about that. And I said, I never promised. I mean, even if I had, I would break that promise because that's just the kind of guy I am. Um, so anyway, the reason that I call Jay Dirty Jay is basically he went away and warning the live leak show is strictly for adults only and may contain language opinions and media which could cause offense to those of a sensitive nature if you do watch the show and find yourself so deeply offended you need to whine about it we suggest you pull that big splintery stick out of your ass walk it off and buy a friend because we don't want to hear about it now Sit back and relax, because shit is about to get real. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, can you fucking believe that? So that is why I call him Dirty J. It's nothing huge, it's not a major thing, but you know, I think you'll agree. That's pretty... Would you... What's up? Nothing. People didn't hear it, did they? Did you think he's a dirty bastard? Did the credits come up when, that was, when I was telling people about that? No, everyone heard it. They heard it? The comments, Great. yeah, yeah. Um, so that seems reasonable, doesn't it? All right, listen, here it is, guys. Jay went on holiday. He did some other things I'm not allowed to tell you about um, until we get to 250 likes. No, but the reason I call him Dirty Jay, they went to a lap dancing club, which is not a dirty thing. There's nothing wrong with that, Jay. I find it awkward. But they went to a lap dancing club. It was ladies dancing. It wasn't like oiled up men or anything. It was ladies. I say ladies. Um, they were women. And Jay paid for a lap dance. Didn't you, Jay? It's no good denying it now, dude. Everyone knows it's true. Anyway, the lady gave Jay a lap dance. And she sat on his lap and wriggled around. I mean, it's not that impressive. It's no big deal. Jay, it's no big deal. It's no big thing. It's nothing. It's not even that bad. It's, he came in his pants. <laughs> He came in his pants. That's all. That's why I call him Dirty J. He came in his pants when a lady just rubbed herself on his leg. 
I'm sorry, Jay. I couldn't. I've kept that in for so long. <laughs> That's why I call him Dirty Jay. And he stayed for a while after he did it. I guess it dries out. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> there you go. That's why we call Jay Dirty Jay. Dirty underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you next week. Same time, same place. Bye-bye. <laughs>